Welcome back boys, it's been a few days since our last leaks video but I've been grinding my butt off and I'm excited to show you guys some really fun content and of course progression to dragon rank with our magic build. Let's just say Chambers RNG threw me for a freaking spin and a half, but it all worked out in the end. Starting off, we started trying out some Temporos for the combat achievements, which gives leak points. I got sent to a fishing trawler minigame so I can get the fishing outfit, as that was required for one of the Temporos tasks. Oh, Angler. Yes. Give me the points. I now sent Temporos, and I got all the tasks done pretty quickly, and also got some fishing levels for maxing. Oh, there you go. Apparently, it's two cannons on each side. What the hell, man? There was one task that was a bit difficult, which was the 10 permit game because it requires soloing Temporos and knowing how to milk the points. And I kind of forgot how to do it, but I did have a lot of experience back like a few years ago when I did it. So it took me a few tries, but I did manage to get it. The idea is to not damage Temporos on the first phase because you get a maximum of three phases for the minigame so that you can get extra points off the ever growing fires by dousing them in that first wave. Then you finish Temporos on the last two waves, and it's an easy 10 permit game. With the Dragon Harpoon that I got from the Worm task, it was super chill. Okay, okay, okay. I did it, I did it, I did it. That was nice. And then we're gonna douse all these flames here. Oh, I think I've improved. Yeah, that's definitely a better start. Ooh, 11 permits. Let's go. We even uh, went above and beyond. There we go. Oh, I got it! Fishing barrel! Yo! That's actually good! Uh, points. I, I don't know if I'm gonna use it much. Afterwards, I went and did all the Zaya Elite Diaries because I met all the requirements. The goal is to do all the diaries though available because the XP lands will save me a lot of time on soul skills for maxing and it's super good overall rewards and of course league points. I continue working on some combat achievements because they're just so fun to do with the relics and stuff especially and good points. Now trying to do some combat achievements at rate 3 with the legendary verf he's looking for a shadow so i thought i help him a bit and do some cas with him as he also needs to do cas as he is going for those uh, high scores <laughs> yeah. tell me please say give us the task give us the task oh we can't we have to wait for the boulders to finish okay 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 all right okay 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 fair minute yeah all right come on give us the task please give us the task yo look <laughs> after doing some team raid cas though with him i realized that the raid ones with the team requirements are going to be a little too annoying for the effort i probably don't need to do all the cas for 56k points for giant ring maybe if i am strong points i would do the group combat tasks but for now i'll just focus more on the soul boss combat tasks as those are definitely worth it and super fun I ended the night though with AFK and 500 Redwoods as there's tons of points associated with Redwoods cutting, burning, fletching with them, for example. After the Redwoods, I AFK a Mahogany's to get 99 wood cutting because the initial plan is to just use whatever Mahogany logs I get from this to turn into planks, which would get me to 99 construction for sure, and I have the GP. But I'm not sure if I actually need all these logs anyways, we'll find out. Depends on uh, upcoming grind. There we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and get 99 farming now. Really easy. 99, of course, once you start planting those trees. But here it is, 99 farming. That's another 99. We're very close to maxing, honestly. Shout out to the boy for finding it. Uh, Mr. Genital here. I, oh, God. What a name. There you go. 1.2 mil. Nice. 98 prayer, 126 combat. Well, they removed the Soul Wars cap. I probably have enough for 99 prayer anyways, just off of these bones and, and uh, insole heads, so... After, it was time to work on my next magic upgrade goal, which was a Torn Prayer Scroll from Chambers. The Torn Prayer Scroll unlocks the Preserved Prayer, which makes boosted stats last 50% longer. This is going to work amazing with the Imbue Heart's magic boost, as I can keep the max hits I get from the Imbue Heart for 50% longer. Preserve will be amazing for pretty much any bossing that I do to finish up Dragon Rank because I'm going to be maging all of them. It is a 1 in 15 drop from Chambers of Xerx if I don't get a unique purple. If I just spam normal Chambers, I should be able to get it really fast and get some resources for maxing. It shouldn't take more than a few hours. 
Also, Chambers had their 10th or maybe 20th. I don't know. I lost count. Biggest quality of life update now. And this one is definitely quite significant. A lot of the easier rooms got less tedious, like Kindling stacking Ice Demon and Grub stacking at the Eevee room and being more consistent again. Also, all the harder bosses like Vespula and Fossa now drops overloads, which is super nice to minimize the need to scout. And a bunch of other changes too. The biggest thing with these changes overall is that scouting normal raids is way faster because every layout has overloads and the slow rooms have now gone faster to do so, so you don't have to be so picky anymore. All you really need to do is scout a 5 room layout, which is the shortest cost elk can be, and just send it. As long as you've learned every boss, any layout that's 5 room is worth. I think I only had to spend less than a minute scouting per raid, so it was much nicer. Hold on, I need to see what you guys were doing here. Okay. Let me try this out just to see what works and what doesn't work. Cause So you can do that now, which is pretty nice. So, okay. But yeah, this thing doesn't... The plugin for Runelite gets a little awkward. It's fine. Oh, I'll do this right. It's fast. But yeah, I just use this anyway. So I just use the uh, good old instance map and it tells me everything I need. I can tell it's just a five room challenge. I do like four plus rates an hour in, in leagues and it's about 75% white lights, which means like only 20 rates. However, I was dead wrong. RNG can be an absolute menace sometimes, even if the drops are that common. Oh, I got Lizardman Fangs. That's good. I need that just so I can charge up my Xerx Talisman. Oh, actually, if I kill this, right, the portal's gonna show up, so I'm just gonna use the portal, I think. Ah, uh, look at this. Who runs? Who needs to run there, bro? Not me. I spent, in fact, most of the next three days doing Chambers of Xerx looking for this damn prayer scroll, and I ended up banking maxing, too. Enjoy the progress. Even in such upgrade. Oh shit, Dragon Claws. Oh my god, that's actually so sick. Of course that's a task. Ooh. Dude. Oh, uh, actually though, I don't think I don't think Dragon Claws would be better than DDS though. Oh, we got a purple, so that means you know what? Alright, well, we'll take whatever is in this chest. Here we go. Oh, I got the door. Nice. That's it, boys. Melee build. We are now melee build. I'm just kidding. We're not. But, uh, 200 points. Let's go. Oh, shit. Purple again. Uh, okay. We yeah, have one purple an hour. While still chasing the Torn Prayer Scroll. Wrong paper. This could be it. Any of these raids. 1 in 15. Man, you're trolling. Oh, I got Parasons, though. That's good. For the rune crafting, but yo, check this out, right? Because I'm gonna travel to my other spirit tree, give me points, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the construction one, which I still have yet to work on. We'll do that soon. Oh, 25 mil range XP, let's go. Oh, 50 chambers of Xerix, really? Oh, yeah, because it included the challenge mode one that we did with Verif. All right, this one is not Torn Prayer Scroll. What could it be? Oh my god, are you serious? What the? F Another one? How? Last raid for the night, guys. Hope for the best. Whoa, it's not possible. After the first night of hunting for the Torn Prayer Scroll, I chilled a bit at Barbarian Fishing to test that out for experience. It was definitely a better experience than Karen Bonds by a good amount. I figured I had enough food for bossing from Karambon fishing, so maybe this was better AFK method. Although the AFK is not as good, but it does give some nice experience, even in a little bit of agility and strength as well. I finally got around to using up the red boots that I got from AFK in the day before, so we're doing the fletching stuff that are the tasks for red boots. Apparently, there's a black dehyde shield task too. I gotta wait till I get, um, enough smithing to make rune nails to make it so uh, we'll wait oh damn demonic gorillas let's go another 200 points uh, i think i have to do some more fletching stuff let's see if there's any more oh shit we did it 200 magic longbow nice 40k almost also i did complete the desert elite diaries as i had the requirements yep that's done i might as well go and quickly do this 200 dragon dart task here real quick that is a desert exclusive big task. 
There we go, 40k. Nice, we're about to complete the diaries for another 200. All right, here we go. Let's finish this desert diary. I quickly sent 99 prayer because I was so close with my insult heads for the imbue heart grind. I did some daily soul wars for the 1 mil XP cap for prayer, so that happened in the background 98. They also got rid of the cap now, but I don't really feel like doing any more soul wars, honestly. 20,000 times 180. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely freaking for mil XP. These insult heads are insane. That's like 1.8 mil or something, or close to 2 mil XP. Final kill, guys. I believe. Yes, look at the XP though. What the hell? 8 mil an hour. These freaking episode demon heads. I also did the 150 herbivore task because it's such good points. As I had plenty of GP, I decided to buy a bunch of broad arrowheads and I bought a bunch of arrow shafts from the ranging guild and some feathers from a fishing shop. And what I did was while I was doing herbivore, I would just let the automation of the fletching do its thing and I was able to get 99 fletching on broad arrows this way. It was very efficient. I got it. Hey, oh, torso. Nice. 36 tries. So the torso task, if you didn't know, is affected by your herbal or level. How often you get the torso depends on that. So you need at least 85 herbal to even get it. And the higher, the better the chance. So at 95, which thanks to chambers for the most part, I was able to get this really fast. All right. Damn. Actually, I had I had just enough, basically. 99 fletching. Another 200 pointer. Jeez. I managed to get all the way to 20 million hunter XP, which is only 4 mil off from 25 mil hunter tasks, which is good points. I can bang down in the future under an hour for 200 points later, thanks to my trickster relic. Burning an inventory of freaking redwoods. No, not even an inventory. Just nine logs of these is 50,000 fire making XP. What the hell? Might be it. Hell yeah. Look at that. 200 points. Gosh, man, I got several. I got like over 500 points. All right, it's another day. That means time for Torn Prayer Scroll Grind. I'm going to go and get the 40,000 solo rates point task done for CAs. It's a fun one I've been looking forward to do. So anyways, uh, we're going to milk the crap out of Fossa for the points because you can actually get a ton of points off Fossa. I'm going to get some points. Nice. <laughs> Give me points. Is there a cap to this at all? Okay, I probably will throw the axe now. Because, uh, yeah, I gained so many points off Fossa. Holy. I'm also going to milk Ice Demon by collecting a bunch of Kindling. With the new update, it might seem like 20 your max, but you can actually just put it in the stores bank and you can actually just get a bunch. So I got like 100 plus. By the way, I'm doing a large raid so I can get extra runes for points. So I checked that off in the board at the outside. Damn, 44,000 points. Okay, I overdid it. I overdid this, but always better to play it safe. Uh, of course, it's a purple with this many points. But um, yeah, got another task done. And what do we get? Of course, Arcane Scroll. Still, purples are good. We can get points for that. Or ancestral. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that poison run, bro. That was sick. Uh, less than three hours, so. Oh my god, ancestral top. Damn, the dupe ancestral. Oh, twisted buckler. I already got that. Hey, 25 mil agility. Let's go. All that running around in chambers looking for a torn prayer scroll. Here we go. Let's see what it is. Oh, Din's Bulwark. Wait, I already got that. Man. Oh, that was such a good poison dance. Oh, Chambers of Zerk Master combat achievements. I guess it's 75kc then. Here we go. Anything good? Oh, Elder Maul. What the f crazy? Someone actually called that. Yo, my second mega rare. Let's go. At least we got some points today. I was, I was getting a lot of dupes, but that's insane. We have two mega rares, no Torn Prayer Scroll, almost full Ancestral. I'm going so fast that my kills per hour is actually going up. We're at like 5.1. Like imagine doing 5.1 raids an hour, dude. After the second night, I realized I had already enough pair Essence from Chambers. 
to send 99 runecrafting. The best runecrafting training with my build is simply using the banknotes relic with note of pure essence at the ZMI altar because it just unnotes the pure essence for me. Because I never had to bank, my experience rates were absolutely ridiculous. It just came down to how badly I wanted to get arthritis by spam clicking the altar a bunch. Runecrafting was by far my fastest skill to train and very little active prep time too. Thanks to Chambers giving me several 15,000 Parasense drops. The hell? 13 mil? Seriously? You think I have enough Parasense to keep it up for an hour like this? Okay, it looks like it's kind of chilling out 18 mil, I want to say. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are 99 room crafting. Oh, I've obtained room rank. Let's go. With 99 runecrafting done, I was easily able to do the Karamjali Diary. As the 92 runecrafting task for double nature runes was the main bottleneck, I also finished up my Hesporia combat achievements too while working on some farming related tasks. I am still looking for that Redwood Sea for points, and my plan was through Hesporian farming contracts. It is fairly efficient as I get a bunch of tree seeds for some easy farm XP tasks on the way to Redwood Seed. It's very minimal time to plant the trees and just check them when they're grown. But I gotta wait for the Torn Purse Scroll, then I can do all these other bosses for hella easy combat achievements. I also got my Herb Lord to 99 using the herbs that I got from Chambers, as I realized I had enough to do so. The secondaries came from the Imbue Heart Grind mostly with the Bloodthirsty Superiors giving that lots of uh, secondaries, and a Calfight Queen task too, which gave me a bunch of Rinds of Zami for range potions and Potato Cacti for matching potions. Both are some of the best potions to make for XP. Wait, what? That was already 99 Herbaler. Oh shit, I thought I was uh, one level away still. With Herbaler maxed out, I was able to complete the Varaka Lee Diaries. 90 Herbaler was my bottleneck, which was to make the super combat task. There you go. Nice, 86 construction. 2200 total, which is another 200 points. Damn, we're 44k points now. Hey, one of July orbs. There you go, Bland Dehyde. Easy. In the next day, we head back to the chambers once again to grind for that torn prayer scroll. All right, this could be it. Here we go. Oh, I got it! Oh my god, yes! 93. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh my days. Imagine being excited for a torn prayer scroll, dude. Oh my god, finally it's there. All right, let's see how many white lights it was. Finally, after 93 rates and 16 high white lights, basically four times dry, I was able to enjoy the preserved per instantly as I went straight to Kraken. To finish off that enchanted try and task for 400 points, I just needed to get 10 tentacles and I already have four of them. Great start. The RNG is coming back, boys. I'm already five left. Let's go. Bloodthirst is still very good even when you're done with the imbue heart grind. That slaughter bracelet extension is really freaking nice. Look at this. I'm gonna re imbue heart. Look at that. 90 seconds, baby. I guess my luck turned around because six tentacles with 5x rate takes about 480 kills on average. But I did that in less than 200 kills, which is less than a task. Preserve kept my imbue heart magic boost going easily. I had no issues keeping on the whole time as it drained my purse super slowly. Oh, I got it. Yo, we're done. Actually, done. No way. Which one is it? I can't see it, dude. <laughs> Alright, character. Auto retaliate. Please kill him. There we go. Ah, there we go. We found him. This is the real boss. Alright, so let's get this back. Oh, man. Yes. There we go. And then use it on her. There it is. The, in the trident of the seas enchanted. 400 freaking points. Alright. Oh, is that a task? There it is. AQ defeated 150 times. Hydra, yes. Why, well, yes. Probably do all the combat achievements too while we can. Oh, yeah. One of these is scary though. Oh, this one I can't do. No Derek's. All right, I'm going to just do this and it should be free. Yo, we did so many tasks. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Holy shit. There you go. I think we got it already. And then the rest is just KC tasks. Wow, that was so easy. <laughs> yeah, 
The only one I can do now is the dark one, which will be free, which will be auto completed on Wednesday. So I ended the night preparing to max. Now that the preserve scroll is over, I also finally got that redwood sea task, which is nice and also came at a great time. Oh, I got it! Oh, yo, where tree? That's insane. What? What? Where's this spirit tree from, too? What is that? What is this contract then? Must have been from the yew tree. Oh, thank God. Thank you, base yew tree. In the process, I got a lot of tree seeds, so that's an easy 25 mil farming lead task coming up. And maybe even the 35 mil task. We will have to see once I get closer to 25. And the next thing I wanted to work on was construction because I also had plenty of planks, like teak planks and mahogany planks from chambers, about a thousand each. And they're basically the best types of planks. So I sent 99 construction and did some nice construction lead tasks like the spirit tree and fairy ring and the boss layer display case. I had some jars already. Boys, check out the strat, man. Look at that. So easy. I can just remove, build, same spot. Alright, next is T Plinks. Oh, Venge is so nice. I just hold on to one forever. Alright, let's build this player achievement gallery. Ooh, 80 points. I'm going to build the boss layer now because I have the level. Nice. And then I can put all these jars in there. That's 200 points. I don't even have this in the main game, sad. Oh, nice. You can put all the jars in there. Let's do this. Spirit tree, fairy ring. Yes! 200 points! Yo! Man, this is insanely fast. Just planking mahoganies. I'm just going to make an extra inventory just in case. It's around 1,400 from 96 to 99 with mahoganies. So, yeah, we're done. Only cost 2 mil. Here it is, the last table. I'm gonna keep it with me though. I'm not gonna remove this. Kind of want to get some of the harder ones out of the way, like smithing. I forgot to mention the experience lands from the diaries I just did were mostly spent on construction up to this point. I ended up having a lot of leftover mahogany logs that I cut in preparation from 99 Con several days ago. Going dry for that torn prayer scroll definitely made me readjust my plans a good amount. I did not anticipate getting so many planks and whatnot from chambers already. Future XP lands will definitely be going to mining as I realized a bit late there that it is definitely my slowest skill, but it is League so it's not terrible thankfully. Next, I started using my ore from Chambers 2 to prepare for 99 smithing, lots of coal, mithril, and adamant. I made a few hundred mithril and adamant bars, turned them into play bodies, and used it at the Giants Foundry minigame. I later realized the legs were probably the best uh, combination to use though for that minigame. I wasn't too familiar with this minigame though, so I decided I would just do some mithril and steel that I bought from the Havrok shop in Vrak, just to test out the waters in case I mess up real bad. Once I got familiar though with this minigame, I started using my mithril and adamant equipment I made for the foundry. Every time I completed a sword with the league multiplier, I got a bunch of points, so I was able to buy the molds in the shop at this place right away there's a ton of them but you want to just buy them out as soon as possible because it does improve the quality of your swords with better molds and you get way more xp so that was the first thing i bought all right that's all the uh molds done definitely amazing experience once you get it down especially the whole reaction thing where you can basically do things a little bit more efficient which saves you some steps Especially though, with that Foundry plugin rune light, it makes that real easy to keep track of. 275k. Oh my god. Let's go. Yes. That should be a task. What? It's only 40 points? That Foundry is pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I also bought the full blacksmith's outfit next, as it is a task and also gives me bonus smithing experience. Perfect for the 99 smithing. I leveled up enough to make a thousand adding rune darts for the league points. There we go. Next is uh, rune darts. Another free 200 points. Dang. I can finally make the black TI shield because of the rune now requirements. That requires so many skills of high levels and it's only 80 points. I did some addy and rune at the foundry. I had some rune left over from bossing, which was an insane 400k experience, a sword at Four mil an hour. Damn, there's like seven steps with adding rune. It's so much longer. Oh, I got it. 
Yes, another crit. Damn, you're right. Smithing outfit. Double your chance of getting crits. Let's see how much XP this is. Holy shit. 339,000. Oh. But I mostly did Addy and Mithril though. Because I ran out of room real fast. At 14 components each. Which was 7 Mithril and 7 Adamant Legs. For the final levels. And they were also really good too. As well. 250, 300k XP. A sword. Which gave me around 3 million hour. I ended up using most of my coal from Chambers, which was about 4,000 out of the 5,000. So that was really nice. But ultimately, I bought some Adamant Legs and Mithril Legs from the shop with the GP that I had to get the last few levels. That was definitely a bit quicker, and I probably could have done that a bit earlier. But again, I'm kind of new to this minigame, so now we know. I'm excited to use this minigame for future accounts. Let's get it. Holy shit. 99 smithing. Ah. Oh, okay, I can't buy this one, apparently. But, nice. We got some freaking points for the collection log, so. Let's see collection log tasks. How close am I? Dang, a lot of these are straight up just clues, but. Ah, yeah, right here, 200. I don't know if I'll get there. I, actually, yeah, easily if I do clues. We still need quite a lot of points. With smithing maxed, I could do the rest of the diaries as the Kandarin, Lumbridge, and Artie diaries were all locked behind high smithing like Adamant Playbody for Lumbie, like the Rune Crossbow for Artie, and Kandarin, I forgot what it was, but... Oh yeah, Rune Spear for Kandarin as well. But yeah, that gave me a ton of points and experience lamps, which again, I put into mining. Burn the chew bone, 1k C, giant fall home, right? Is that how we do it, guys? Oh, what the? I actually did! What? What the hell? What? <laughs> Dude, I got one KC Dragon Foe Helm off a chew bone. <laughs> what the? Dude? Oh no, I don't even have that on the main game. In fact, I've never gotten this item before. <laughs> okay. Dude, I was just trolling when I said that, you know? Oh my god. Imagine getting it because I was looking for a diary step, like... Oh my goodness, and, and I messed up too. Freaking hell, okay. Alright, well, that's that's awesome, that's freaking awesome. Uh, anyways, I gotta grab this magic log. What the hell? Alright, let's see. Do I get the option to make a hosta this time, or what? Oh, there we go. Yes, we're in hosta. Yo! Okay, nice. Another 200 points. And we still have to do cantering because I got away with my torso, but... Yeah, what a crazy way to go, dude. What the hell? Awesome. Okay, now we're just going to chill at the uh, Artie farm. And get this torso. Oh, it's already done. Oh, shit. Power of the Kronos, I guess. Just one, right? Yes, that's also done. Yay, there you go. 200 points. Wow, look at this. 48k points, guys. Only have 8,000 more points to go. 87. And then uh, 89. Sick. Alright, only need 8 mil XP. So I just gotta do it mostly through Volcanic Mine. So that is the play. I also got a bunch of gems from Chambers, which I did use for the crafting training. But honestly, not a big deal because you can just spam that at the Alcora Gem Shop as always. But yeah, I did need a little bit from the Gem Shop. For the 99. 99 crafting. Another 200 points. Alright. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's it. 3 skills left to 99. We're gonna get 99 fire making now. Yeah, so I just gotta like get this done. And then uh, I can go back to Ifkin. But it's crazy though. I haven't even gone the, the big XP drop yet. And it's already still 5 mil an hour. <laughs> Alright. Damn, we're already 99 fire making. That was so freaking fast. Also, no Pyromancer set, but I, I can't be asked. So it was time to get 99 Mining. It is our last hard skill. The only other one is Fishing, but I'm just going to AFK that while I edit this video. Not going to lie, it was all planned. But yeah, Volcanic Mine is definitely one of the best XPs in the game for mining. I was just experimenting with solos, but it's definitely nowhere as good as running with at least one more person, like a duo trio. Trio, honestly, is probably the best that I can do, so... I'm probably going to be doing a lot of Volcanic Mine with my viewers on Twitch. Because, yeah, it's pretty easy to teach people. A lot of new guys are probably going to be interested. I'll just teach them and it'll be good XP.
Oh, nice. I got the 200 point task for Rune Ore. Nice. Wow, honestly, respectable. Very respectable, man. Room haste gives four prayer bonus. Honestly, goaded. So you do want to protect from range while inside the Fulcanic Mine because these lava beasts do do damage. So having a lot of prayer bonus is nice. Let me just quickly talk about Fulcanic Mine because it's such a good minigame for XP. It's actually quite chill once you learn how to do it. But the concept is pretty simple. You have 10 minutes to mine this giant rock for XP. If you make it towards the end stage, you get the most XP. But the game can end earlier. You can die earlier because there's this thing called stability because you're inside like a Fulcanic active uh, dungeon. And how you maintain stability is by checking your three vents. There's vent A, B, and C. You basically want all three to be stable. So around 50%. If two of them are like 50% or around there, then overall stable. That means you want multiple people to check on the vents. Because if one guy tries to check all the vents, you'll run out of time. You won't have time to mine. So you guys want to split up the vent checking throughout. And that's basically it. We just need people to check the vents and keep the vents stable. And you'll be able to mine all the way to the end, which is massive XP. Yep. Preserve, baby. Preserve for the scaling as well. Making my mining level last longer since I'm not 99. Damn, 2,400 points. Oh my god, 150k XP drop. So doing it with just people that I taught in stream today, like not even experienced people, I was averaging 1.4 million an hour as long as our games do not fail and we make it to the end. That's 1.4 million hours, around like 140k XP drops at the end of the game or even 180k. Boom, 98 mining boys. Basically about an hour left to uh... Oh, grats on 99 mining. Ooh, big grats, someone got 99 mining. One step ahead of me. No. This should be it. To 99 mining, probably. Yeah, nice. There we go. 99 mining. Another 200 points. And we have one last skill left. Easy game. Just going to AFK this while I edit or something. And it's clean. So yeah, that's pretty much max right there. Let's see how many fossils we got from Herbivore and all that stuff. Holy shit. That's a lot. Also, these count too yo okay good good we have a lot of these calcites and stuff and i'm gonna buy the rest i'm gonna buy um let's see here pay the trade trade yeah we're gonna buy the rest of the our frost fights to match this all right and then yeah we're gonna go do some prayer training later on and get 25 mil yeah i bought everything already i have so many points so we can just like easily pop this no problem if we need more, we'll buy more, but yeah, it's awesome. That was the sh uh, that was the plan. That was the plan. And, and it looks like we could probably do it. 25 mil prayer with this and insole heads. Maybe a little bit of soul wars. I didn't think I was going to be back at Karen Bones, boys, because I thought 2,000 cooks was going to be enough. But uh, I have like 30 left. So I'm going to finish off probably 99 fishing here. Oh, shit. Yo, I just got base 95. That's freaking 400 points. So I max... Oh shit! Yo, I just maxed. <laughs> uh, of course I saved the AFK skill for last. Damn, what the hell? 400 points for maxing? Holy. And then 200 points for getting 99 fishing. Well, that's nice. I can't even get the cape. <laughs> uh, road to 25 mils though. I don't mind AFKing some more. We still got 6,000 more points basically. But that's it though, no more having to like rush skilling, I'm just gonna do AFK skilling only.